Hello, I feel like it's time to finish another project. And I've got a couple of things. This book here, this accordion book, holds my samples for a class that I teach. I think it's time that this got a cover. And I've also got a selection of the zines that we made last year in our Magpie's Nest community art group and I'd like to bind those together into a book similar to this one that I did in one of the class, another one of my classes. And I thought I would share the process with you. So I've gathered together everything that I need to make a cover for my zines. I have some thread, string, I have some papers that happen to coordinate with the string. I've got a cardboard box, I've got scissors, a glue stick, and I think I'm going to use a pencil as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut open my cardboard box, take one of my zines, and make a template. I want my pages to be slightly larger. Cut that out. Hmm. I'm going to use this as the outside of my book. More glue stick. And I'm going to miter the corners that I'm folding over. Wherever the cover folds, I'm going to clip those corners as well, just so to make it a little bit easier to give the paper a little bit of ease when it folds back and forth. And I'm not going to sew through the pages. I'm going to cut some notches in the top and bottoms. So making these notches for the string to sit in stops things from sliding around, but it still lets you Carefully slide out your zines if you want to change the order around. Hope. Today I've come across hope. I can change and heal. I am not defective. My world, slow down, enjoy life. When I get to heaven, goodbye John Prine, you live on in your songs. Work, love, studio life. What will the next few months, years look like? Will people change their attitudes and behaviors? Self-care. Worth remembering. Building strength. Escape to the wild. Social activist. Most changed part. The world is not built of atoms. It's built upon stories. There's always time in the cosmic time. It's never too late or too early. I love my arty friends. They're so full of wisdom and knowledge. And they share so generously. Yes, I am winging this part. I do that. It will all work out, trust me. And if it doesn't, I can always glue something over top of it. It doesn't really matter. So I decided I didn't like the way that the Z looked at the end of the word. So I changed it to an S, but then I decided I had to disguise the lines that, that I had put around the Z, and then I started scribbling around all the other letters as well. What do you think? Is it time to stop fiddling yet?
Okay, I've got another book here that needs the cover, and I've got a much bigger box for this one. Raided my pantry again to see if I could find a box, and this one seems to fit nicely, so I'm going to cut it open. And this one is going to be slightly different than the other one, the last one because I'm going to make a flap that wraps around the book. It's a different book style. I decided to use these maps. And because this book is so much bigger than the other one, I didn't really have any paper that was big enough to cover it all in one go. So I'm using smaller pieces of paper fitted together to cover this one. It's going to take a little bit more time than the other one. I'm also not going to be uh, wrapping string around the spine of this book. It's a different style of book. It's called accordion book that zigzags back and forth. You can see here how I'm piecing together all those smaller pieces of paper to fit the outside cover. So the papers that I'm using to on the inside of the cover there are actually they're leftover samples for the class that didn't quite make the cut to be included in the book. And I'm using some white glue in addition to the glue stick to make sure that the book block, which is getting fairly heavy, actually sticks really well to the cover. Some I forgot to say art here, so I'll just cut out those letters and stick them on. So you think you can't make art. There you go. I have two more finished projects. It's very satisfying to finish things. And have